and welcome to episode 27 of Youth Squad Legends Series 10 with Manchester United. We've just started a new season and there's one thing to be talking about. Davide Puglione, overall of 75 at 19 years old. The May bump has helped a lot with this player. We've also got Adam Houndstrup as a 74 overall. Aldo Clerk is 74 overall as well. Connor Weig is only 71, but he is a year younger than Aldo Clerk, so all is good. He is developing quite nicely at Chicago Fire. Let's begin a very busy transfer window, starting with Tyler Sutton. This guy is an English centre mid, overall of 75. He's a free agent, so he costs no money to bring in. With the right training, we can see this kid up to 80 overall at least. Busy with players coming into the club, but also busy with players moving on in their career. This includes Romelu Lukaku. Overall of 81, Sunderland have offered 22 million. I could push for more, but I am not going to bother because it just wastes time, frankly. David De Gea is wanted by Real Madrid. Now, we do have a replacement goalkeeper in the shortlist that I'm really desperate to show you guys, but we need to sell David De Gea at the right price. He is one of the world's best goalkeepers, and we can't be selling him for 23.5. Add another 10 million on top of that, then you're looking at a better deal. I still personally wouldn't sell David De Gea for anywhere under 40 million, but FIFA is a little bit cheaper. 33.5 is a good deal on FIFA. Nikola Maximovic is wanted by Arsenal. 23.5 million is on the table. I shall move this up to 28.5 million. We sold a handful of youth players last season. It's time to bring them back in. Aldo Clerk coming into Manchester United with Lee McGinn going out to Morecambe. Then it is. Comes back with Alessandro Aradita going to Napoli for at least a season. Ben McGivens back, 69 overall. Alberto Colombi going to Shrewsbury. Ryan McGurk is in from Eintracht Frankfurt. He's in a swap deal with Joe Steenson. Davide Puggioni is back in the red of Manchester United. A massive transfer, the biggest of all regions. £10 million and Angelo Bowen going to Yeovil. We get the 75 overall Italian right back. Seems like Romelu Lukaku is staying at Manchester United for the time being. Sunderland and his representatives couldn't agree on a wage. Adam Hounstrup is joining from Bayer Leverkusen, Gary McSheffrey moving the other way. And here is Adam Hansen, he will be rejoining United with Tavon Finney moving to Ireland. The first sale of this season, Nikola Maximovic has gone to Arsenal for 27 Point five million pounds. We negotiated the deal and agreed on that sum of money. Now we are unloading the first team. Matteo Darmian has gone to Genoa, whilst David De Gea moves to Real Madrid for twenty-eight million pounds. So who am I bringing in to replace David De Gea? We've already got two very good, high potential goalkeepers, but this kid is something very special. Christopher Zellner, potential to be special, so I don't think I'll be using any player training on him. Just sit back, watch him grow into a world-class goalkeeper. That's not even a word. So I've been tracking the progress of this winger from Wolfsburg. He's Dennis Jasula, one of the very few regions that actually has a good crossing stat. Weak foot and skill moves are not the best. The work rates are quite concerning too, but he can play both left mid and right mid. Also, he can play just behind the strikers if we need it, of course. I think it would be a very nice addition to our side. The exile continues. Chris Smalling is off to Real Madrid. And Anthony Martial hasn't really grown to what you'd expect. His overall is only 81. Fair enough, he is only 22 years old. But we are going to lose a lot of money on this kid. Phil Jones could be potentially moving on as well. Dennis Geisula is in the club. Chris Barneswell going out to Wolfsburg. And here is our new first team goalkeeper. Say hello to Zellner. In comes Connor White. 71 overall at 18. Zach German 
moves to Chicago fire. One day on the transfer list and Andreas Pereira seems set for Barcelona. They have took immediate interest. We've got a player sold that's Phil Jones to Sevilla for £15.5 million. Pounds. Couple of more departures, Martial has gone to Malaga for 15 million and Chris Smalley moves to Real Madrid for 18. Andreas Pereira has moved to Barcelona, 3.7 million pounds is an absolute bargain. Harry Kane is the next player to leave, 28 million pounds coming our way. And there goes Romelu Lukaku, he's gone to Sampdoria on the cheap, 14.5 million. I got that money. This is a big game that we're going into right now. Liverpool against Manchester United in the Community Shield. I wouldn't play this game normally, but if you watched last episode, you'd realise how Liverpool dismantled us in the last game that we played against them in the FA Cup Final of 2018. I've put out a very youthful side. I'm basically sending them out and saying, you know what, just enjoy yourself, lads. Oh, okay, right, they've bought Tony Kroos. Liverpool have brought out the big guns. That is stage one of my plan done already. To remove the embarrassment of losing to Liverpool in the FA Cup final, we must bring out our youngsters and smash them. Oh, lovely save, Zellner. It was a Roberto Firmino shot that came in hard and low. The keeper was a match for it. Lovely. And Firmino's like, yo, how did that not go in? Try and just plant this free kick. Near the six-yard box. Oh, we actually won the header. Marchetti. Marchetti. Probably the smallest man on the pitch won the header. Tyler Sutton. Connor Wyke. Sutton asking for the one-two. Finesse into the bottom corner. Stopped by Mignolet. Marchetti. Marchetti scored in the community shield. Yes. Running in on the blind side of the defender. I think it was Moreno. One-on-one. -on -one with the Belgian in the net, composed, slips it across goal, and Man United have the lead. Wonderful. And it's a reverse of what we saw in the FA Cup. Liverpool are bossing this game. We've had a couple of chances, and we've definitely took one. Ben Evans! Even looks like Tom Evans. How scary is that? Regens and Youth Academy players are just OP. Well done, Ryan McGurk. You will never get this buzz with real players. Oh, we won't go on to win it like that. Benteke has equalised for Liverpool. I was just about to say, if we go on to win this game, it will be the moment where Alexander Rosenberg's plan is unveiled to the world. Corner kick to Liverpool early in the second half. Delivered by Kroos. Oh, passed it out. Oh, that was my fault. That was entirely my fault. Still very happy with the performance of my players. We could have held on to that lead a little bit longer. Higher overall players are now stretching me. And this is Goetz on the ball. Liverpool are 3-1 up. Oh. If we've got any chance of coming back in this game, we have to score basically now. And we've lost the ball like that. Yes, Drolley. Takahagi, nice turn. Oh, no, he's missed it. Ben McGiven. Drolley! Oh, fucking Mignole. How is he that good? Davide Puglioni from right back. Fake shot. Mignolet's really annoying me right now. Takahagi, nice. Hey, we've got a goal back. Basically means that Liverpool don't really have that much to brag about because it's a small margin of victory against a, Man a very weak Manchester United side. They still won the game. They're still going to talk about it, but it weakens the effect. Can't even get the ball back. It's full time. Liverpool have beaten us in the Community Shield and the FA Cup now. Mm. And that, you know what? We played well in the FA Cup 
and this game right now, but we just don't seem to have the luck against our biggest rivals. So now we have to see Liverpool lift another goddamn trophy. Yay! Not as much possession, but we did have more shots and more shots on target. Out of all the players to make the difference, Minule. Once again, we had problems with the recording software, but I was able to sort it out quite quickly. I've done the editing, the video's past 10 minutes, so all that's left for me to do is say thank you for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a like, and I will see you next time.